I know. I know. I'm really late. Summer is over. Brat summer is over. Summer's over. We've gone back to school. Like, what do you mean? Just now I'm doing a brat summer makeup tutorial. No, no, I know. I know. I didn't even think to do a brat summer makeup look until like a couple weeks ago. And there hasn't been a proper time to do a look like this until now. I seriously was like, even if I don't have something to get ready for, I'm still gonna do this look because how could I not? It's fucking brat summer. It's never gonna be brat summer again. No, actually brat summer forever. Brat summer forever. Today we're gonna be doing a little brat summer makeup. I have two birthdays to celebrate today. I'm feeling a little like weird in my energy. I think because I have eye floaters right now. And if you don't know what eye floaters are, there's these little like specks of like black or like little specks of blurriness like in your eyes that kind of float around like wherever you're looking. And I have this really, really huge blurry one that's so big that it's not even like floating around. My vision is just blurry. And on top of that, I had a stroke when I was 16. We'll get into the details of this like at another point. I've mentioned this before, but eh, it's just like a really long story. But when I had my stroke, it happened in my occipital lobe and your occipital lobe controls your vision. So I have like permanent vision loss in my peripheral vision. It's like kind of like right here. If I'm looking like right at you, I cannot see my hand. Like I can see my hand in the viewfinder, but I cannot see my hand like in real life. But because of these fucking eye floaters, I can't see through this eye basically. I feel like 50% of my vision is fucking obstructed. I'm really disoriented because I can't fucking see anything. So I feel like my energy is a little bit like all over the place and I don't even know what to do with myself. Um, I don't know where I was going with that, but Anyways, that's the tea for today. So let's just get right into it, I guess. It's four. I have to leave by six. I actually should leave before six because where I'm going. So actually, wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. The plan is I have one birthday party to attend. It starts at 6.30 and it goes until 8.30. The second birthday, it starts at eight and it goes until the rest of the night. And so, um, I don't know where it's going. Either see this one saying I'm really disoriented because I can't fucking see. But since the first location is like a little bit far from me, I shouldn't leave at six, okay? Like I should not leave at six. <sighs> so that leaves me like less than two hours to get ready. I have my outfit for event number two already picked out. I literally thought of this fucking outfit like a month ago. I was like, wait, oh my God, how cute would this outfit be to go out whenever I get the chance? The opportunity has finally presented itself, so I know what I'm gonna wear. I'm just, I don't think that outfit is like the right vibe for the first event. Because I think we're gonna be doing like walking, like it's an outdoor thing. Outfit number two is like not the most practical outfit, so I want to make sure that I'm still gonna be able to like pee and stuff. So yeah, okay, that's the sitch. Okay, anyways, brat summer makeup. Here's the inspo. The skin for this look looks really like not a lot of coverage, which I'm so here for because my skin is not doing good right now. This look is very light on the skin, heavy on the eye. And I also saw an interview where she said she's kind of into this like eye bag. Um. So yeah, I'm gonna use a beauty blender today to do my foundation. I've been using a brush for a while now and I do love that, but I randomly was like in a hurry the other day and I used my beauty blender to do my foundation. And I was like, wait, why did I ever stop doing this? Because it looks so good, it looks so natural. I'm trying to decide like literally as I'm doing this, like do we want me to explain like every step that I do or is it like relatively self-explanatory just from like watching? Because I don't want to let you down if you like came here for a tutorial based off the title and are not gonna get that, you know? Like, but then I was also kind of thinking maybe I'll just go in depth for like what I'm doing with my eyes. See, I don't know. In all these photos, she looks super pale, but I'm not pale right now. She's not really wearing a lot of blush either. And I feel like I tend to go blush heavy, or at least like I want the blush to appear on my skin. You know what? I feel like I don't even know what I'm doing with this look. We're just gonna figure it out together as we go, I guess. We have a new product to use together. I hate the way I said that. I really hate the way I said that. Okay, also like, why have I unironically been doing the finger hook? 
every time I, I'm like chewing and I'm like, I'm like, I catch myself and I'm like, stop it. Put that fucking thing away. Um, okay, so anyways, new product alert. I have already used this because I wanted to make sure, wanted to make sure that I actually kind of liked it or like had some time to form an opinion before using it on camera. So I had some like more realistic like feedback. So far I like it. This is the one sized Until Dawn mattifying waterproof setting spray. And I got the mini version <laughs> because I was buying it and I was like, wait. And I only went and got it because this is the only setting spray that I have right now and I can't keep using this, like I really can't. I tried, but I just, I don't think this is for me. And I don't know, I've heard good things about this brand, this product. So I was like, okay, I'll give it a shot. But maybe this time I'll do a mini version so I don't need to like fucking commit to something full sized if I don't end up liking it. And to go with it, I'm running low on powder. So I figured I would try the powder version, which is the one size ultimate setting powder. And I did ultra pink because I've been using this for like the past over a year. And I love this. I like the idea of a pink setting powder. So, and I also got the mini size just in case, just in case I didn't fuck with it. I'm gonna take a brush first and just lightly set the places that are like really shiny. I was gonna try to use this powder to bake, but I don't really think the skin for this look requires a bake. So we're not gonna bake today, but we'll report back if I do try this and I don't record it. The blush that I put on earlier is pretty much gone, but I think I wanna keep it that way. Wait, high key though, this color, the darker of the road blushes that I have might kinda be perfect, but they're so creamy. To put them over everything that I just set, I'm kinda scared that it's gonna fuck shit up. Here goes nothing, I guess. Wait, that looks good though. It didn't ruin anything. I've seen people try to use these cream blushes, the rogue ones, on top of powder, and everyone has had a really good experience. And so have I, apparently. <laughs> I do need to set my under eyes more though. Okay. We're done with the base. I'm just looking at the photos. It looks very dark, very smoky, and it looks like there's some brown in here. Although I don't know if I'm the biggest fan of like mixing brown and black. Did I just fucking lie? I might've just lied. I don't know, well, I, I don't have a plan. I'm trying to act all like, I know what I'm doing, like I have a plan, like no. I'm just gonna start and whatever happens, happens. Okay, just gonna start with a little black gel liner. I'm just tight lining my waterline and my lash line. And then any black or brown, dark black or brown eyeshadow I was gonna do for this. I'm just using my old janky ass Smashbox palette. I'm gonna start with black and just smoke out these lines that we did. It's been a fucking minute, I feel like, since I did like a dark smoky eye because I've really leaned into like summer and I've done like very bright looks very bright outfits, very bright nail color. I really haven't done like a dark eye look in a minute. Kind of excited because I feel like these are my roots. These are my roots. Now we're gonna use like a darker brown to transition using the same brush, cause whatever. Next, we're taking like a super light brown and just completing that ombre, like the fade out. Okay, I think the last thing I'm gonna do is just do a little black eyeliner. I feel like I've seen her always have this like really dramatic wing. I personally don't like the way that looks on my eyes, but it's the brat summer look and that's what we're here to do. So I should just commit. Stop, stop, just trust the process. Trust the process. Okay, okay. Ooh, mm. it's okay. Wow, this kind of looks so bright. We're getting to the point where I need to just stop because it looks good and I don't want to make it worse. So they're different. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. 
Her eyeshadow kind of like really extends with the eyeliner. Like, you know, I have to fucking say, this looks fucking good. <laughs> now the decision is, do I want to add an inner corner? Like. Not really, because I think it's just gonna fade. Okay, that's fine. I did like my mascara and my eyebrows off camera because my camera was so fucking hot. She needed to rest, but I don't really do my eyebrows anymore. Like I just gel them, but I kind of felt like, I mean, this girl's eyebrows are like, so I added like a little tail to the end of my eyebrows, which is what I used to do. That's how I used to do my eyebrows. And like Loki, I was looking at photos of myself from the era where I used to do my eyebrows like this. And I was like, wait, why did I ever stop doing my eyebrows? <laughs> Anyways, we're done. No, we're actually not done. Sorry. We have to do a lip. This is really giving like a dark outline of a lip. And I've always wanted to try like the brown brown liner and this look that she has she has like a brown lip liner and like a clear everything else but i just think that looks so silly on me and like let's keep in mind i have this activity to go to before the birthday like a birthday party party like i have a birthday i just want to try it out though okay so then we're gonna do i'm gonna use salty tan I mean, yes, like this is like really aggressive to like show up to like a little walk in nature because I think I don't know what we're doing for this, this first thing, but it kind of seems like a walk in nature. I'm not really sure, but me pulling up with this full fucking beat, like, okay, but that looks really good. Okay, but I don't know if I can really pull up to the fucking mountains of LA looking like, <laughs> I mean, who says I can't actually? Wait, that's so... Who's making the rules? I can't. Okay, it's not that I can't pull up looking like this. It's just, I think I'm gonna be a little uncomfortable. I'm just gonna finish the whole fucking look. And if I still feel uncomfortable, whatever, I'll just figure it out. Okay, so for the hair, anyways, back to business. I'm gonna slick it because my hair is greasy as fuck, okay? I thought about doing like the hair that she's been rocking, but it's too hot. It's too hot for me to have my hair down. Mmm, this is a good opportunity to do like a spiky bun. Okay, well, anyways, <laughs> the makeup. I mean, yes, yes, this is what I needed. My soul feels so much better than when we started. I do think I like the setting powder. Oh, wait, 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 the setting spray. So it's outfit time. I'm gonna show you the outfit that I have planned and then we'll just see, we'll just see. I think I need to put my outfit on before I decide like if it's gonna be like a two outfit night kind of vibe. This, I feel like I can wear just like with a jacket. The problem is the shoes. Obviously I can't pull up to this first thing wearing these fucking shoes. The other problem with this is that it's, since it's a one piece, if I need a fucking pee, I have to get naked. Um, so not loving that part. <gasps> um, it's gonna take one hour for me to get to this fucking first location. Hell no. Good thing it's 5.30, so if I left right now, then, you know, I would get there on time, but fuck, that's such a long drive. <sighs> I hate that. I literally hate driving in LA. If you've seen those fucking memes where it's like, you're only driving a mile and a half, but it's gonna take an hour to get there, yeah. That's why I fucking hate driving in LA because it's fucking true. Like granted, this is like 25 miles, but still an hour in the car, like I'm telling you without traffic, this would take 30 minutes. Most definitely can't wear these shoes, have to bring other shoes. But if I were to wear something different, which honestly, I think I'm just gonna wear something different because yeah, this is, this is a lot. I think this is a lot. This is, she's cute, but she's a lot. Let me just complete this fit. If it gets cold, I can bring this little cardigan. This is if it's, ooh, burr, ooh, chilly, ooh, cold. This is kind of giving like Kim Kardashian's like Met Gala look where she was like, oh my God, whatever the situation was when she 
was like holding her cardigan like this. That's kind of like my vision for that. Okay, and then I think this is bag. This is bag. This bag for outfit. And I think that's the fit. This is fit number two. Let's get fit number one going. I want to give like cool girl, you know? This is why I'm gonna be late. <laughs> Maybe I wanna wear shorts. It's hot as fuck for me to be wearing these pants. Mm, I don't like that though. And I want these to give like workout shorts. Like I don't want this to give like a workout outfit. Do you know what I mean? I want these to be like a micro mini short. I'm gonna go with this. If we're gonna be walking in like the nature and the dirt, then I want like a comfortable shoe, right? Some sambas and like a long scrunchy sock. Cute. Okay. Good, good, good. Lastly, I just need to make sure that I'm not fucking stinky, so. It's 5.45. All right, it's time to go. I'm gonna spray some perfume on my outfit in case I do fucking get stinky. This is insurance for later. Okay, I am a ready girl. Here's the fit number one for activity number one. Anyways, love you. Thank you so much for get ready. Getting ready with me. I'm not really sure if this was like really a tutorial. I mean, it wasn't. It was like a kind of tutorial, but yeah, that's that. I think that's just kind of what you get with me. We just get like half tutorial, but love you. Hope you enjoyed. The vlog is not over. At least I don't think it is. Um, I don't really know, to be honest. This is okay. And we, <laughs> hello. I need to pee pee. I need to pee pee. I am sick. I am sick of it. Um, um, But are these get like a...